So for approximately six months now, since I made the original video, I've been patiently waiting for this event to happen. And a lot of astronomers have actually been waiting for this for many, many years. The most anticipated astronomical event of 2024. And here I'm referring to T Corona Borealis, also known as the Blaze Star Spectacular Explosion. An explosion technically known as Nova that was supposed to happen between the time I made the video and basically now. The explosion that would appear as an extremely bright star, visible for approximately a week, and an explosion that's a result of what's known as a recurrent nova. And so, hello on full person, this is Anton, let's I guess do a bit of an update on what's actually happening here and why nothing has been seen so far. And I guess more importantly, let's start with uh, I guess a bit of an apology. So in that last video, we had a bit of a contest. And it was basically in regards to predicting the date when this nova is going to occur. And, uh, yeah, I guess we all lost. I lost, you lost, uh, nobody wins. Mostly because it hasn't happened, even though a lot of studies strongly suggested that it should occur before September. But despite the fact that nobody, of course, guessed the date correctly, we know that this nova should definitely occur. And there is a really good reason why we think so. And that's because we know exactly how these systems work. This is a binary system that has a really large red giant produced by the star very similar to our sun that's now basically in its end days and has expanded becoming a giant star and an extremely close partner, a white dwarf, a star that used to be very similar to the sun but has now transitioned into its new form. But as you can see from the simulation, this white dwarf is a little bit different. Not only does it have an accretion disk, it also has jets. And we actually know these features exist because they have been detected extremely recently by several different studies. As a matter of fact, this study by Zamanov and his team were even able to calculate the size of the accretion disk to basically be approximately 90 radii of the white dwarf. With other studies even observing X-ray reflection from this disk, establishing the exact amount of mass it's consuming in order to produce the jets. And that's how we know what's going to happen to this star eventually. Or technically not the star, but the accretion disk. As the disk grows larger and larger, at some point it's going to reach a kind of a critical stage. Now we don't really know exactly when this is going to happen, but it's a stage where all of this hydrogen in the accretion disk becomes hot and dense enough that it suddenly ignites, producing an extremely massive nuclear reaction, or basically nuclear explosion, that lights up the entire system, making it resemble a miniature supernova. And so even though it's approximately 3,000 light years away from us, for at least a week, it's going to appear as one of the brightest stars in the night skies. And the reason we know that this is a recurrent nova, or basically a nova that repeats time and time again, mostly because the accretion disk here keeps accumulating more and more mass from the star, is because this event has been seen previously at least twice by previous astronomical teams. The most detailed previous observation was from 1946, and the one before that was from 1866, 80 years prior. And though this was just two observations, we now have even more evidence from another recent paper that this was also observed by some of the older astronomers as well. Here, by noting the location and by assuming that this happens approximately every 80 years, Bradley Schaffer was able to discover historical evidence for a similar event in 1787 and even in 1217 AD, with his initial prediction suggesting that the next event should have actually happened sometimes in April of this year. Now here he might have made a mistake, but in the historical data he definitely discovered more evidence. And so essentially here the assumption was that every 80 years the accretion disk here becomes thick enough that it suddenly detonates, producing this bright explosion. But the question is, why exactly did the scientists think it's going to happen this year? Well, it's actually because of those observations from 1946. In 2016, there was a previous study that reported an unusual brightening of this star that was very similar to what was observed in 1938. And a separate study in 2018 has also discovered that the star dimmed both in 1945 and also in mid-2023. And right here you see that within just one year it went nova. And so the assumption was that something similar was happening and the eruption should occur before September 2024. And well, the thing is I'm making this video in mid-September of 2024 and still nothing. Although it would be super funny if it literally just happened as I'm about to upload this video and that means that I'm gonna have to, I guess, eat my own shoe. But the point is that the predictions so far have been kind of incorrect. 
As a matter of fact, most of the previous predictions have now been completely invalidated, except for maybe a couple. But we know that the Nova itself is definitely imminent. It's definitely going to happen just because of other similar events and similar predictions that have been made in the past. You can actually check out the previous video to learn more about this, but to date every recurrent Nova has always recurred again. And usually within the predicted timeline. But why is it that so far so many predictions about this particular event have been incorrect? Well, the explanation to this is really simple. They're basing their assumption on something we observe, but without actual modeling or explanation. So for example, for this unusual dip, for a lot of scientists predicting September 2024, this was the telltale sign that the NOAA is imminent in 2024. There is no modeling or no explanation for why this dip even happened and why this should lead to a NOVA. And because we've only seen this twice before, just assuming that it's going to happen if there is a dip is technically a really far-fetched assumption. And the assumption that it happens every 80 years is also a little bit far-fetched as well, mostly because here the exact mechanisms are still not truly explained and we still have no idea what really triggers the event when the star is about to go nova. But interestingly, the study by Toala and his team, the most recent study, was actually able to produce one of the most accurate observations by using X-ray observatories in order to observe the exact reflections from the disk itself, confirming the exact mass contained inside a disk and the exact mass absorbed by the white dwarf. And interestingly enough, their prediction is for 2025 or possibly as early as October 2024, based on the emissions in the X-ray frequencies observed so far. Interestingly, this disk is actually huge, approximately one astronomical unit in radius and at least 0.1 astronomical unit in thickness. So what you see right here is just a minuscule version of this. In reality, this seems to be much, much larger. But according to the study, one thing that makes these predictions so much challenging is just the fact that because it's such a large disk and such an unstable system, there's just so much variability and so much unpredictable activity. And so finding trends or patterns is really difficult. But their study once again confirms the existence of very high velocity jets with the speed of material being approximately 200 kilometers per second. But despite of all of these observations, there is still no good model that can explain everything and thus all of these predictions are still basically just guesswork. We still don't really know the exact mechanisms at work and we don't even know if these nova eruptions happen every 80 years, 70 years or 100 years because right now we only have like four points of observation and even the period between them is not exactly 80 years. Which means that in reality it might happen this year, next year, maybe 2026 or maybe even 2030. But if there is a study that's able to predict the eruption relatively accurately, it might help us understand these systems better, thus helping us understand what's really happening and how all of this works. And so right now we actually have two more studies predicting either early 2025 or possibly May of 2025, plus minus one year. So yeah, I guess uh, we have no idea when it's going to explode, but once it does, um, maybe curb your expectations as well. It's not going to be some kind of a super powerful firework, it's just going to be another star visible for maybe five to six days. Not something like this, unless you have a powerful telescope, and definitely not something like this. So yeah, um, still a pretty cool event for um, astronomers and science geeks, but maybe not so cool for people expecting something absolutely ridiculous. And we'll definitely talk about this once it does happen. And by the way, if you want to learn more about the previous similar event that was predicted and did happen, check out one of the videos in the description. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna go for another prediction. Uh, maybe January 16, 2025? Uh, that's cause it's my birthday. Let's see if it happens.